When using images ethically, you are required to cite them within your work as well as in a Works Cited page. In another video, we taught you how to use Openverse to find images you can use under Creative Commons license and how to find the three-point attribution, which acts as an in-text citation for an image. So, how do you make a full citation? Well, it depends on the citation style. The two most common are APA 7th and MLA 9th. Each of them look pretty similar, but they have small differences. Lucky for you, the UB libraries have two guides for each. Just open up a browser window, go to Google, and search for either APA Guidelines UB or MLA Guidelines UB, and go to the last tab for Finding and Citing Images. There, you will find how the correct format is with examples. For this video, I am only going to demonstrate how to write a full citation in APA format, so use this as a reference for how to do the one in MLA. The format of an image citation is very easy. Like most other citations, it begins with the author's name. When you find images through Openverse, authors typically go by a handle, like on social media. Whatever their name is, just use that. Next, we need the year of creation, which should be easily findable. After that, we need the title of the image. If there isn't one, assign one using descriptive words. For my example, I will have an image with a title. After that, indicate if it is a photograph or a digital image. My picture is a photograph. After that, show where you got the picture and then provide a URL to it. The easiest way to find all of this information is to click on the button that says Get This Image when you find it in Openverse. This will open the page where the image lives. In this case, it lives on Flickr. Now that we're here, we can identify all of the pieces we need. The author's name is Bob Jagendorf. The year it was published and uploaded was 2008. The title is called A Great Jump! Dog Agility Trial. And the URL is found by clicking on the arrow towards the bottom. When you click on the arrow, it will open a box like this. Okay, now that we have all of our information, we can write our citation. I copied the format from the APA guide, and now I'm just going to fill in the blanks. I have my author written as I saw it, not last name first, the year, my title with only the first letter capitalized in the title and subtitle, and it's all in italics, the medium in brackets, which is a photograph, the website where it lives, which is Flickr, and the shortened URL. It might seem a bit tedious, but once you do it, you'll get the hang of it. Remember to put it in the same list with your information sources used, all organized in alphabetical order, and if you have any other questions, please go to either the APA or MLA guidelines page, or contact a librarian by coming in or going to the library website. Have a wonderful day.